Hey everybody, Ricky McLean here with Woodworks back for another two minute Tuesday talking mass timber hybrid systems. This was a question I put out on LinkedIn recently. It was a poll, wanted to know what people wanted to hear about next regarding mass timber and mass timber hybrid systems one. So it's gonna be a pretty high level view conversation, but I'm gonna focus on my five top areas where mass timber hybrid systems are currently being used in construction in the US. So first up, I would say that many projects, many mass timber projects in the US are using hybrid construction from a lateral standpoint where the beams, columns, walls, floors, roofs are generally mass timber construction, but the lateral system is something other than mass timber. So concrete core walls are very common. You see this a lot in office construction, high rise construction, also steel frames, you know, central steel core, exterior moment frames. Those are common ways to use a hybrid approach where the gravity framing is mass timber and the lateral system is steel, concrete, or other materials. All right, number two, beam and column systems where you're using mass timber horizontal panels for floors and for roofs, but something other than that, generally we're talking about structural steel for the beams and columns. So using a hybrid approach, in some cases, this is an aesthetic decision. In some cases, it's a span and depth of structure decision, but that's another system that we're seeing used commonly in mass timber hybrid systems. Number three, long span roof members, in particular long span trusses. For this particular application, it is very common to use structural steel, bottom cords, webs, et cetera, in combination with say a glue lamb top cord to achieve longer spans. You see some images here on your screen. This has been done quite a bit on mass timber projects. All right, number four, timber concrete composite. In this system, you're using a mass timber floor panel compositely connected with a, a concrete topping slab. Um, using some type of a shear transfer mechanism. This could be screws, plates with headed studs, mesh uh, proprietary plates, many different options for creating this composite action. But generally what you're getting is as this panel goes into bending, the timber on the bottom goes into tension, the concrete on the top goes into compression, getting really the best of both worlds in terms of what these materials have for their capabilities. And number five, lastly, using mass timber horizontal systems as floor and roof panels in combination with light frame wall systems, vertical systems. This is something that we've seen more often in multifamily projects. Um, not many projects to date have done this, but more and more are looking to leverage really the benefits of both materials, light frame vertical systems where you can run chases, electrical systems, plumbing lines, and then you get the nice exposed aesthetic of the mass timber on the underside as a floor and roof panel. All right, that's my two minute Tuesday mass timber hybrid systems. Tell me down in the comments what you're interested in learning about for next time. Until then, we'll see you all later.